Today we are going hiking at Bear Mountain State Park. I am fully expecting this trail to whip our butts. This is why we're here. This is awesome. I thought we were done. We're still climbing up, what the heck? Where did we anchor? Next to a castle. <laughs> in the mountains. <laughs> Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. Yesterday we saw some uh, through hikers walk through. Oh really? Yeah. During the AT? Uh huh. Wow. Good morning. We had an excellent night's sleep here on the Hudson River, our first night on the Hudson River. But now it's time for us to jump in the dinghy and head over to the state park. Always coming too. Whoop, whoop. Please go that way, not this way. Carol, Luke, and Chris were champs yesterday because we had to do a similar thing. And of course, Luke is in his 70s. Um, but they did it. It was not quite as low, but it was low, low tide, so. Oh, let's start the hike. We're at Hessian Lake. How was the hike up from the dock? Uh, we're feeling it. Living at sea level for the past year and a half. It's whipping our butts. How oh, pretty. So this white line, whenever you're on a trail, delineates the Appalachian Trail, which runs from Georgia to Maine and goes, I think, almost 2,000 miles or something like that. Anyway, the Appalachian Trail goes 
in Bear Mountain State Park here. So we'll be walking on some parts of the Appalachian Trail. We are huffing and puffing and we just made it to the trailhead. <laughs> you have to go all around Hassoon Lake and the trailhead is basically on the opposite side from the dock area. And we got 1.5 miles to go. Straight up the mountain. <laughs> Now my sister-in-law, Chris, who was in the vlog yesterday, she told us about this trail and she is an avid hiker. She has hiked all of the Catskill peaks, all of the Adirondack peaks, and I think she's even done it twice in winter. <laughs> so, she's so physically fit and we've been living at sea level for the past year and a half so I am fully expecting this trail to whip our butts. And her trail name is called the Terminator. <laughs> we just don't want to be terminated. <laughs> so please wish us luck. Ollie, how you doing? She's dying. One thing that's for sure is it is absolutely beautiful out here. All the plants and the trees are a luscious green. I mean, it's like mid-June, and uh, it's hot today. It was chilly yesterday, but it's sunny, you know? Like, this is awesome. This is one of the reasons why we did the loop, was to reach destinations like this and, and hike to amazing places. It's awesome. Tiring, but awesome. The trail is really well marked, so it makes navigating the trail pretty easy. Woo, woo. Oh. We keep taking like 10 steps and then pausing to catch our breath because we are so out of shape from anything with elevation. It's very steep here. Very steep. We're getting into this, the second part of the hike. It has a much steeper incline, so it's much harder for us. Our like hit workouts, yoga on the boat has been great, but in terms of elevation, not not cutting the mustard. that way over no. the rocks the view is incredible yeah oh my god wow this is why we're here Awesome. What do you think? We're almost there. Oh, My so close. Oh, we could do it. Oh. Oh. oh my God. Oh. Look at that view. Summited. We're not at the lookout yet. We still have almost halfway to go. Dang. At least this part though is supposed to not be as much elevation. I'm using all trails to record our hike and to determine like to make sure that we're on the, the right path. To know how much elevation we are at. Um, and to see like other trails in the area. And so we're only about halfway there. We've gone up the majority of the hard part, but we still have quite a bit to go. All right. I thought we were done. We're still climbing up. What the heck? The wind is crazy. Right 
right now we are at the most top point of the trail. We are heading to the lookout and it is so flat and enjoyable. Our heart rate has gone down. Our breathing has calmed down too. But we are also kind of joined with the AT. So we just passed a through hiker and was talking to him for a little bit, but we're just continuing on. We made it. We made it. We made it. Wow, just crossed out of the forest to the overlook. Lookout in the snacks. We have some trail mix and we also have some fruit. Boom. Time to head back down the mountain. Back to sea level. Still have a while to go, but that was 5.23 miles, three hours and 35 minutes. And the elevation, drum roll please, 14,026 feet. Wow. We came from zero. Wow. wow. Excellent job. Woo. Nicely done. One of the cool things about like this dock and, and hiking trail, not only is it on AT, which is really cool, and the sites were awesome, but you also have a zoo here, and it's like a zoo. But this is where they have some animals that are rehabilitated here, and so this is actually the lowest point in the entire Appalachian Trail. It's right here, and uh, it's not open today. They're doing maintenance on it, so there is like a path around it, but it's kind of cool. So if you stop here in the loop, and you don't want to do a you know, five mile hike to the peak, which I recommend, it was awesome. I'm doing too. It's kind of cool. Oh, we are almost at six miles total for today. And it feels so good to have gotten off the boat and gotten such a good exercise, a hike done, climbed a mountain. But now it's time to head back to Pivot. Yeah, fortunately, it's high tide, so it's much easier to get into Fred now. And um, tie off, untie the lines and all that. So, excellent. Right here, good job. That was awesome. Oh. Nice. <sighs> My sister-in-law, Chris, the Terminator, also recommended for us to um, hike across this bridge, which is the Bear Mountain Bridge. It's also part of the AT. Right, so the, the through hikers on the AT hike across this bridge here to go and make their way to Maine. We are exhausted. We thought maybe we'll do that or maybe we'll just do like half. But no, we're exhausted. We are like completely pooped. We have no energy for that. And if you're a really, really extra credit and you feel like the Terminator, you can go to the top of that, in which there's a trail that goes right off of the, the bridge, directly up. And there's our girl, Pivot. Aww. Hey, Pivot, we love you. Oh, you came up to say hi to Pivot? <laughs> oh, my God.
Oh, he got very muddy at the very top. Come on. She thinks he's muddy. Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, okay, so Woo! Good job! Whoa, 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 whoa. Not going in there, girlfriend. Wasn't that fun? She's like, hey, nope. Are you jumping in? Yeah, I am. Why are you jumping in? Because we live on a boat and we don't jump in the water enough. And it's hot and I'm sweaty and it's just a great time. All right, one, two, three. Oh, oh. oh it feels so good. Oh my God. Oh my, what touched my foot? Just kidding. <laughs> Should have seen Jen's face right now. <laughs> oh, I'm floating away. Really away. The Hudson Current is not no joke. That's great. Nice. Good job, babe. It is the middle of June and it is 88 degrees today. It's a hot one. So after that hike and all of the heat and sweating that we did, it is time for some ice cream. Cool off. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Can go for a cruise? Put your life jacket on. Yeah. One, two, three. Whoa! Good job! Oh. Fortunately, and this is part of the reason why we planned today like this, we have the current with us this late in the day. So we had the current with us today on the Hudson from about 11 a.m. to about 5.30 p.m. And uh, we just have a short cruise today. So we really try to specifically choose times on the Hudson where we have the current with us because the current is so strong here that pivot would barely move. just turned the corner and I think West Point is kind of peeking out up ahead and it looks so intimidating oh my gosh we wish that there was a little bit easier access from the water to go and take a tour of West Point so we're not sure if we're gonna be able to do that even though it's pretty high on our list of things to do since it's located on the water one of our classmates in high school went to West Point and uh, shout out to Carlos Mountains. <laughs> what are we about to do? Have some fun. 
some champagne. <laughs> That's my kind of day. Wow, what a day! Hey. Yeah. Tonight for dinner, I made us some poke bowls and they're vegetarian poke bowls, so they're with beets. But it's soba noodles, carrots, cucumber, radish, edamame, and poke. We have about a half an hour left of sunset tonight, so we are going to drop the dinghy and cruise around Bannerman's Castle. We were gonna do a tour tomorrow, but I was trying to book it and it's $40 a person, a little pricey, uh, but the problem is is that there's no way to actually get there. They have a, pri they have a tour boat that'll take you there for the same price, or you can arrive in your own boat, but it has to be a kayak or canoe not you know a dinghy doesn't work so that's kind of a little unfortunate because if we could bring the dinghy we'd probably go but i called and they said we couldn't so we're gonna enjoy it with sunset tonight and then move on tomorrow a moat around the castle and so for those of you that don't know the story behind this castle Bannerman's castle is this guy had a st wanted a stockpile of ammunition and New York City told him to get it out of here because uh, it wasn't safe so he said okay and so he basically designed this castle himself and gave it to the builders and said interpret it and build it as you can and uh, they ran with it. And it's a beautiful architectural ca castle here in this island. And then it went boom <laughs> and it blew up. And uh, you know, shocker there, good thing it wasn't in the city. And uh, so now they give tours of the island and they uh, keep it uh, as much of it uh, standing as they can. It's kind of creepy. There are some supports that are holding the tallest wall up so it won't fall down. But all of the walls, it's just a shell. There's nothing like really there. And it says on the exterior, Bannerman's Island Arsenal. It is beautiful tonight. There's no more wind bridge current. The wind definitely died down quite a bit. And it's magic hour. It's magical. Pivots. How are you? We're gonna unwind the night with some champers. And chilling. Celebrating being done with the ocean, done with the Atlantic. And safe. Yeah. Mm, love you. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. The dog. <laughs> and Ollie's already sleeping. <laughs> You're so precious. I hope you know that. Uh, well, aren't we gonna do champagne? <laughs> Probably, maybe. I don't okay. know. I'm gonna go to bed. I don't know. What were you thinking about, babe? Hmm? Were you thinking about treats and dinner and belly rubs? Whoa! <laughs> It's kind of fun, actually. <laughs> Wowzers. <laughs>